If you haven't already, do yourself a little favour, download for free from Microsoft Photo Story 3 for Windows. It's great for digital storytelling. Send the kids out with a digital camera, get some snaps, bring some from home, download pictures off the internet, it doesn't really matter. You can do it for any theme. Uh, obviously not just RE stuff, you could be doing it for English, for poetry, for science presentation, just for fun, doesn't matter. Begin a new story, obviously. Click Next. Import the pictures that you want. Okay, so let's have this one, let's have this one. Now this removal of black borders, you know, I, I don't tend to panic about it too much. It won't work well for uh, borders that are on the side. I'll show you why. Let's just have a little look. So I've clicked to remove the border. You can see that if I resize, I can't go up and down without actually getting more of that border. So it won't take it from there. I'm going to say no. It won't take the black border off all that well for some pictures. But for this one, it will. You can see that I can actually... That's the black border there. It's now greyed out. So I'll say yes to that. And you can see that that black border has completely gone from this picture. I'm not going to worry too much about these at this stage. Red eye, don't need to worry about. Color correct levels. Rotate if you need to. The edit, it's um, it's it's really simple. This program, okay, very very simple. Uh, you can like you know if you wanted to make it look like chalk and charcoal, why you'd want to, I don't know, but it's strange the stuff kids like to do. Very strange, in fact. No, I don't want to change that. Okay, on with the show. Next, you can actually add text to your presentation. So you know, this is where it's good in the classroom. I'm just going to call this my plan and a few options to change the font obviously so we can give it have a nice font change the size it's just the same as any other word processor works click OK OK that's dreadful but I don't care we're just going to leave it at that do I want any effect no I'm going to go to my next slide and just add the text again. Good if I could spell. Okay, I might put that up the top of my page. These little things here help me put stuff at the top, the center, down the bottom, left, right, aligned, or center. Um, you know, you could argue that perhaps the color is not that great. I don't like being argued with, but if you did want to, I would change it. Oh, that's worse. But anyway, you get the point. Next. Okay, you can type little notes here so that if you wanted to narrate anything in your story, you could simply by doing that say, this is my clan. Stop there. Now, it's not very interesting because it's fairly static. If I show you what it looks like with the preview button, it just plays that slide and then it fades into the next one. Not overly exciting yet, but wait, look at this. Custom motion, press the button. I like to do this. It's just quick and easy. Click to specify the start and also the end. So I think I would like to start at this pig's head and obviously end up with the whole thing. I can set the number of sentences, uh, seconds it's going to take. 15 to me just seems far too long. I'd like to speed it up. Let's do that in about 9 seconds. Save that. Okay, close that. Go to my next slide. I'm going to give that a little bit of motion. I'm going to specify where to start. Of course, I think I'd like to start. Oh, look at these lovely little flowers. Beautiful finish up there. That would normally take, ladies and gentlemen, 14 seconds. No way. Let's do that in 8. Save that. Close. Let's have a little preview now. So, okay, so we can see that now we've got a little bit, bit of motion, a little bit more exciting, a little bit more engaging. Um, if that was narrated to 
it could possibly be a lot nicer. Okay, so as I say, it could be used for anything. That'll do. Next exciting bit, create your own music. This is great. You can just choose from a whole lot of different genres. So let's say I wanted something funky. Funk, jungle sounds good to me. I'd like an industrial feel that is tense. And I'd like the tempo to be slow. High intensity though, obviously, I think I would like. Let's see what this sounds like. Ah, dreadful. That's so bad. I think it's perfect for this slide thing, so I'm going to choose it. Okay. It actually syncs the music to the slide, so you don't even have to worry about how long the music goes for. It will just start and stop. How do you want to save it? A few options. I'm just going to save it for playback on my computer. I'm just going to save it to the desktop for now. This will be number two. Um, next. Okay, so it's building the story. Just a couple of slides, of course. I've got a little bit of text and the music. So it takes a couple of moments, but it puts it all together. As I was saying, digital storytelling, even a great way to present something for the kids to present to the class. It's free. That's four reasons I like it. Free, 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 and free. View your story, I'd love to, and I know you would too. Here we go. Ah, amazing. I know you'd like to watch it again, but no, I'm sorry. Um, and then that's it. I am finished. I shall exit. Oh, do I want to save my story? I don't particularly want to save that. But if you do want to go back and edit, always save. Obviously, you would say yes. Give it a name and save it. And then you can go back and edit. Okay. Cheerio.